हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज ओम एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिविल राजा योर गेटवे टू फ्यूचर सो गाइस वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस सीरीज ऑफ वेयर वी आर स्टडीइंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्लान्स एंड वी विल कीप ऑन विद दैट सीरीज बट टुडे इज समथिंग स्पेशल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टेयरकेस सो वी नो दैट देयर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द स्टेयरकेस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ईच एंड एवरी टाइप वन बाय वन ओवर हियर ओके so today we will talk about u shaped staircase we have already seen a lot about the dog leg staircase and i have also a uh, information which can be very useful for you if you are a student of civil engineering or architecture so stay till the end of this video and we will right now dive directly into the topic that is u shaped staircase so we are basically going to see how we can plan a u shaped staircase and for that we have this whole calculation part over here so what i am going to do i will simply first of all name this what is this this is u shaped staircase okay so this is our today's topic and what we need to know before planning any staircase first of all we need to know what is the floor to floor height so in india there are generally three types of the floor heights first one is what 10 ft second one is 10 ft 6 in and the third one is normally a uh, 11 ft right so it can vary from floor to floor height so let's say we have a floor to floor height of 10 ft uh, only 10 ft okay just uh, calculate about that then the comfortable riser height is 6 in if you are taking riser height less than that then for the residential building it is not very much uh, like uh, economical and if you are taking a riser height more than 6 inches then it will be uncomfortable for walking like if, if someone is uh, uh, in the like um, older age then he will find difficult to climb that staircase if it is having a riser height of more than 6 inches so this is the standard height and we need to follow that now if i have a like floor to floor height of 10 ft that means how much it is in inches it should be 120 inches so you have to just calculate a little bit and you know that 1 ft is having 12 inches and that's why 10 ft will have 120 inches right then the number of the risers will be height of the floor divided by the riser that means 120 inches divided by uh, like 6 inches right so and that will be equal to 20 steps or you can say 20 risers right now uh, it depends upon uh, like what type of staircase we are talking about if it is u shaped staircase then there are three goings if it is a dog leg staircase then we will have just two goings okay so we need to have three goings over here and that will be on like a first going second going and then we will have third going and we need to calculate the number of risers in each of these goings okay and then we will also have the landings over there so the treads and the everything we will count in our upcoming stage but first of all let's see how we have to calculate all these things so we will go to the autocad over here you can see this is the diagram now i will also uh, show you how to draft all these things so suppose you have a, a space of 10 ft 6 inches by 8 ft 6 inches okay this space is also uh, playing a great role in a planning of the staircase so i am just going to show you how to do all these things so over here you can see let's say we have a, a space of 10 ft 6 inches let's say 10 ft 6 inches then we need to have the space of uh 8 ft 6 inches okay so that's our our uh, like a space or you can say the plan okay so if you want to just uh, make it a plan proper plan then you can simply just copy it and do the needful so i will simply copy it from this place to this place now it will come something like the staircase now the length of the tread okay the tread is the space where we just place our foot so width should be 10 inches and the length should be 3 ft 6 inches that is the standard one okay but if you don't have uh, that much space then you can also reduce that okay so i will simply just go with the space of 3 ft 6 inches over here okay and i will give a offset from both the directions and even from this direction i will take a offset like this okay 
now you can see i need to like mark a trade over here okay so we'll see how much steps can we get in this one so we need uh, we know that we need 20 uh, like uh, steps or you can say the 20 rises to reach to the next floor so this is the first riser this line will denote a single riser now we need to take the offset and as i said we need to have a space of 10 inches for each riser oh, sorry for each width of the trade so we will simply place the width over here okay and let's see how much we can have so it is uh, more than uh, like uh, we can have over here now i will simply copy all this okay and place it over here okay now i would like to know how much steps can we get over here so let's uh, trim this portion okay i will join it later and then we will take the offset of 10 inches over here okay so let's say we are taking the offset over here now we will also calculate each and every uh, like distance over here so we can see we have our staircase over here now we need to count the risers so this uh, line is denoting the risers and this space is denoting the thread i will also mark the dimension so that it can be visual for you so you can see this is our thread which is of 10 inches okay even on this side we have the thread of 10 inches okay so this should be the 10 inches if you will just uh, provide a space less than the 10 inches then what will happen yeah there may be chances of slipping okay so to avoid that we can just go with the 10 inches okay now we need to count the risers over here so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So we have 19 risers over here, but we need 20 risers. So what we can do, we can also draw a line over here. Okay. So we can just increase one more step in this landing. Now, if this whole floor is uh, of a height of 10.6 inches, then we can also add a landing or uh, sorry, I'll also add was more step over here okay so we can simply add a line over here and there will be one more step now we need to check out the dimensions what are the different dimensions that we have taken so this plot or you can say this is space for the staircase was of 10 feet 6 inches by how much it is this one is 8 feet 6 inches in which our trade uh, length is 3 feet 6 inches okay and then the length of the first going will be five feet length of the second going this is our second going then we have the landing okay okay just a moment so we need to grab the exact point over here so it is again three foot six inches and if this is five feet, then obviously this is also five feet. Okay. So you can see the length of the first going, second going, and the third going is clear now. And we have one landing over here. Now, if you are also considering it as the steps, then you can also consider the whole height over here. Okay. So you need to denote all these things in this manner. Okay. So I guess you ha have clarified like how you can draw a open uh, sorry u shaped staircase so this is your u shaped staircase so yeah this is your u shaped staircase now you can see you have each and everything or all the dimensions that you need to know all the risers or you can say the uh, are of uh, six inches and all the threads are of 10 inches except this one this is having a distance of one foot which is more than 10 inches then that is good 
but if you are providing a riser sorry the tread of more than 10 inches then that is of not very much use if you are providing it less than 10 inches then there can be chances of slipping okay so you need to just take care of that also okay now one more dimension you can just mark over here and that is this one okay so you can mark this one also so this is 3 feet 6 inches in both the directions i guess yeah it is 3 feet 6 inches in both the directions okay so we don't uh, just want to mark each and everything because that will be clumsy over here okay so guys i think uh, now you have the concept very uh, cleared about all the steps and the calculation over here now the next thing that i want to tell you like uh, i told you that uh, in the end i will have uh, information for you so that is the information over here i have prepared this class notes over here and if you want to get this class notes where i have discussed each and everything like starting from what are the different things that we need to do for the building planning then you can simply get this notes and how you can get that you can simply go ahead and call me on 84332488864 the number is also mentioned in the description and you can simply connect to me through that and it will show you all the steps of the building planning over here so you can simply get this note also and make your learning easier okay guys so that was all for today's class and we will see you in the next video thank you